The best way to teach children to cooperate is through team sports at school. To what extent do you agree or disagree? Some argue that involving children in team sports at school is the most effective method for teaching them cooperation. Personally, I fully support this view and will discuss several reasons for this in the following essay. Firstly, introducing more team sports to children contributes significantly to cultivating the cooperation spirit. In a team environment, members need to communicate effectively and strategize together to overcome their opponents. This experience can prepare students for both academic success and future career development. For example, in a game of football, the entire team needs to work towards a common goal, assisting the strikers to score and win the match. Through playing football, children learn the importance of working together towards shared objectives, which is a crucial skill in any collaborative effort. Secondly, team sports teach children to accept both success and failure with dignity. If sports are integrated into the education system, all children will have the opportunity to participate, allowing them to experience the highs and lows of competition. This helps them develop resilience and a balanced perspective on success and failure. In Finland, for instance, the Schools on the Move initiative incorporates sports into daily school routines, ensuring that all students engage in physical activities. This holistic approach not only promotes teamwork and resilience but also allows students to excel academically and acquire essential life skills through sports. In conclusion, team sports at school are indeed the best method to teach children cooperation as they encourage effective communication, teamwork, and the ability to handle success and failure gracefully.